Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing total graphics. In the previous video, we have seen one coding exercise, right? That was very simple one because we have drawn a dashed line, right? So one more coding exercise you will see in this video and what you have to do, what you have to draw in this case, few shapes, right? Let me just show you first. So these are the shapes you have to draw like first triangle, square, then pentagon, hexagon, heptagon and octagon, right? Or further you can draw nonagon and decagon also, right? Like triangle means having three sides, then square having four sides, then what uh, pentagon having five sides, then hexagon six sides, then heptagon like seven sides and octagon like eight sides, nonagon nine sides, nine sides and decagon ten sides, something like this. And every shape should be in a different color any random color and something like this first this triangle then from this side only start a square then from this side only start a pentagon something like this this kind of shape you have to draw so pause the video and try this out so i hope you have done this see first of all have to find out the angle like if it is a square then you just have to move this to some specific distance like 100 Let's suppose we are taking uh, uh, the sides of every shape is 100, right? So 100 will move the total 100 forward, then we'll tilt or we'll move or we will, uh, you know, change the angle by 90 degree because this angle is, this angle is 90 degree in a square, right? It's 90 degree. Now again, Again, this angle is obviously again 90 degrees. So move to right again 90 degree. Move to right again 90 degree. Okay, fine. So this is pentagon next day. But so what is the angle? It's not like we will move. It's not like that in this case also we will move the turtle to 90 degree. No. Then the angle is this angle. See, as you can see, if the, we are moving forward here, then we will move, we will shift or we will tilt this. Sorry. this this angle is in this case 72 degree then in hexagon it would be something different then how would you know the angle right so here the formula is you just have to divide 360 total is 360 right 360 by the number of side like 360 by 360 by 4 is 90 so each angle is 90 degree in a square 360 divided by in pentagon we have five side divided by five it is 72 right so i hope now you would have to find out the angle now you can move left or right by that angle right so just find out the angle and just pass in bracket whatever the angle you find out according to the shape according to number of sides so let's create a new file here I hope you have done this. If not, then I have, I have given you the hint also. Now you can pause the video and try this out. So, from turtle first we will import turtle class. Then we will create a turtle object like tom is equal to turtle. Fine. Now, how to find out the angle? Angle is equal to because angle is not fixed here. We are not just drawing only one shape, different different shape we are drawing. So angle is changing. So 360 divided by number of sides. But how to find out number of sides? Number of sides are changing. In a triangle, it's three, then four, then five, then six, like this, right? So better idea is in a for loop because range is a function that would generate the numbers, right? So for i in range 3 to suppose uh, 9. So it will generate the number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So triangle in 4 square then pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, right? 
so here rather than number of sides what we can do i so let's just print this angle and i'll show you what is happening here see 120 degree 90 72 60 51 degree 45 degree like this right so rather than printing the angle obviously we have to draw what shapes so now if in this eye we have three so angle is 120 degree right now three like obviously in three we have obviously three sides so one more for loop there in range i whatever the i value is from the above for loop we will take the i value i value is three so in a range three so this will generate at first time 0, 1, 2, right? 3 times. So now 3 times this loop would be iterated. My means whatever you will write here, 3 times that would be generated. So what you have to do? Tom dot forward 100, right? Then move this tom dot to right, right? By which angle? By angle, whatever angle we have calculated here angle right now after this you have to do like, like you have to hold the screen so what we can do tom dot screen dot main loop let's run this and see what's happening here so yeah only one thing is remaining the, these things should be in different color every shape should be in different color we have managed to draw the shapes right but color each shape should be in different color so for that i hope you got till now these two for loops the you know meaning of these two for loops right okay let's take <coughs> first a list of colors and from that list of colors obviously we can generate a random or we can pick a, a random color we have function random in random module we have a function choice so we can use that thing so here see we have taken a list of colors right but how these colors why these colors only the name of the colors as i have told you if you go to this turtle graphics you can say that uh, documentation then see if you go to this method pen color then see here we can provide color string set pen, pen color to color string which is a tk color specification string so what is this tk color specification you just have to search in google and this is the tk color specification this this is the color list of colors in total valid colors you can say valid colors name many colors we have so from this tk color specification this list or this thing this from this database these are because valid colors you can just take out 10 15 name of the color just copy paste like blue 4 just control c and here in my list i am going to paste it here at last blue 4 so like this i have this list of colors many colors i am having here so randomly i am going to choose from these colors every time i draw a shape for triangle different color for square different color so after calculating angle when you are going to draw actual shape this is the thing we are going to draw the actual shape with this for loop so before this for loop let's choose a color so tom dot obviously we have to change pen color pen color but we are not giving we are not providing here any specific color you have to choose randomly so random dot we have choice function and then in this we can just provide the name of the list colors so from this list it will choose randomly any color right that's it let's run this and now see every shape is in different different color right so i guess we have done this thing right if you want to draw nonagon and decagon as well then you can just increase the range here 3 to 11 so it will generate 8 9 10 okay 9 sides it's nonagon 10 sides it's decagon i hope you are you have managed to do this thing you got it i mean the working of this this code right if not just 
it's okay just write down this thing note down this thing on a paper and one by one dry run this what is happening actually then you will get it better right how to dry run let me just show you uh, for one iteration okay now for i in range 3 to 9 first it will in range range 3 to 9 means it will generate 3 to 8 so first in i 3 would be there in i now we have here we have 3 so i is 3 so this 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 angle value is now 120 now tom dot pen color random dot choice color so from this color list it will choice means it will pick any random color suppose pink any random color it has picked pen color is now pink suppose i don't know randomly it will pick any color now for dash in i so dash means here you can take any variable name also like i x y z or anything i'm taking this dash because i'm not i don't care about the values what is the value here here i want the value of i because i have to calculate angle angle is equal to 360 by this i so i have to store this value the range whatever this range will generate in a variable so i have taken i but here i don't want to store this 0 1 2 value so i have taken nothing just underscore now i is here i is so it would be range 3 so it will generate 0 1 2 so at first it will generate 0 so for 0 for first 0 first tom dot forward 100 so it will move 100 total then right turn right to angle angle is 120 120 this side then so first time angle is 120 so it will move the total to the right by 120 right then we are still in this for loop in this inner for loop so next time first time i was 0 next time in this range it would be 1 so again yes 1 means it, again it will enter into this loop and forward by 100 pixels and again again turn right to 120 degree then for 2 move again 100 pixels then 120 degree right 0 1 2 only 3 time this loop will, would be executed means triangle would be created now we are done end of 0 1 2 means after that we are done with this for loop there is no 3 so now exit from this for loop now still we are in this outer for loop so first time i was 3 the next time i would be 4 now same process would be repeated for 4 then 5 then 6 7 8 like this right i hope you got this right you can dry run this on you just write down this on a paper and dry run there right then you will get it better so now that's it for this video uh, in the next video we'll uh, see one more coding exercise that would be a little bit more difficult than this one right so now i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care